my story. Ladies and gentlemen, how to repair and do a facelift on your seafront property, part 29. Today is May, the year is 2019, and we are here on the Costa del Jawick, the mighty seafront. We have friends like Tommy. Hello, Tommy. Tommy, can you tell my fans and my friends what is happening in Jawick today? We love you, Tommy. What's your dog called, Tom? Shine on, Tommy. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is how to do a facelift on your on your seafront property. And uh, we are going to make a difference today. I am going to drill the main part of the structure to the ground. So when the wind blows, the house will not move, if that makes any sense. Because I'm a builder and I build things properly. And when I was little, I used to play with Lego. If your child plays with Lego, maybe you should think about giving them a building career because that means that they like building things. Lego, plasticine, I could build my house out of Lego. How about that? Here we go. The people I work with need medical help after working with me. <laughs> it's all right, I won't make a video for a couple of hours after this one. I won't, I won't, I promise. This is not an improvisation drill. This is a real drill. And I've got GCSEs and I've got GMVQs. And that means I can hold this drill and I can fix it. Do not try this at home, children. how to secure your house in the wind. Here we go, let me show you it close, what I do. Are you ready? I have drilled holes. This does not move. Did you hear about the wise man that built his house on the rocks? When the tide came in, his house did not blow away. But the foolish man, he built his house on the sand. And when the tide came in, his house washed away. So make sure you're the wise man and make sure you're not the foolish man. Have a great day and remember that we can all make a difference. This is how to upgrade your house on the seafront or how to repair it, part 29. <laughs> 